as a plugin developer, what would you do if you have a custom built plugin that's dependent on one, two, or three, or whatever other number of plugins that it requires for it to function properly? If someone deactivated those particular plugins and you're viewing your website, it's actually going to break, or even worst case scenario, you have a fatal error. If this is a problem that you want to solve, then this video is for you. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the most powerful tools that I think WordPress has added to the core since version 6.5 and it helps developers actually level up. On my screen, you can see that I have three different plugins installed. I have Elementor, Elementor Pro, and I also have this little plugin that I developed for Elementor widgets and eventually it allows you to add a menu like this that you can actually edit using Elementor. And you can see right here, I can actually go and change things like the background colors and change this to something that is a little bit bluer. And if I preview my changes, you'll see that now I have this different blue background for my menu. There is only one challenge. This plugin that I have developed actually depends on Elementor Pro and Elementor. And if I choose to deactivate both of these plugins, if we go back to our front end to preview this, you'll see that this is actually broken and I can no longer edit this with Elementor in any given time of day. You can actually see that this is missing from my page. Now, this is a huge problem because depending on who is managing your site, you never know who is going to come and deactivate any given plugin. Now, so what does WordPress 6.5 offer us to help us avoid this kind of issue? It has what we call plugin dependencies that allow this plugin that you're developing, talk to the core and say, please do not deactivate, please do not uninstall, do not delete this plugin, or I need this plugin before I can actually be activated. So let's see how that looks like in code terms. So I'm going to open up my local server and I'm using local WP right here. I'm going to open up my local WP and I'm going to open up this particular folder. And when I drag and drop that folder, you'll see that my editor opens up and I have all this new code that I can edit. So in here, I'm going to add one little simple rule inside my plugin header to speak to WordPress and tell it, hey, I need this plugin. I'm going to add requires plugins and that is in plural. And right here, I'm going to add the slug of the plugin that I am telling WordPress that this is required for my plugin that I'm developing to actually work. So I'm going to go back to my browser and inside here I'm going to reload this page and you'll see that this is now screaming and saying this plugin is active but may not function because it requires or some required plugins are missing. And you'll see right here it says it requires Elementor website builder more than just a builder which we have right here. So this is actually telling me I need to activate it. And if you look closely here, this is grayed out. I can actually not delete Elementor because Elementor is required by my custom plugin. So if I deactivate this, you'll see that I still need to activate to have this running. So I cannot activate this because this is not active. But the moment I activate it, this is also active and I can activate it. That's the beauty of this. If I want to deactivate Elementor, this is not possible because this plugin actually requires it. Now I'm going to just go back into my code and I'm going to add one other dependency. So let's add Elementor Pro. If I open up my browser again, I'm just going to deactivate all of this. And on reload of our page, you'll see that this plugin now cannot be activated until I have both Elementor and Elementor Pro actually active. So if I activate one, you'll still see that this is not activatable. But if I activate the Pro version of Elementor as well, now we have this 
option to activate this plugin and I cannot deactivate Elementor no pro until I actually deactivate this. This is a powerful feature that's going to help stop the breakage of so many sites where you have a manager of a site who probably didn't participate in the building of it and does not know which particular plugins are actually required. So to me, this is the biggest feature that we could have had and it's taken a number of years to actually land in core, but I'm happy that it is actually here and I don't have to do any crazy coding to actually get this done. What do you think about this feature? Please let me know in the comments whether you'll be using it or if you have some other system that you use. Remember, don't forget to like this video and share it with very many others who might benefit from it. Otherwise, enjoy whatever you're coding.